Hi everyone, I'm here with Lynn and she is going to share with us her amazing collection. She is truly a fan collector. So Lynn, are we ready to get started with this tour? I'm ready. How about you? Oh my gosh, you? I can't wait. Okay, great. Well, this is, um, a lot of this was bought by my husband and it's just a whole collection because it's not just Mickey for me, it's the whole Disney Park thing. But this one's uh, particularly special to me. That's when me and my husband went to the Disney parks for the first time together, and that was back in 2004. These caught my eye the second I walked in the door. I'm not gonna lie, they're yes. beautiful. This catches a lot of people's attention. Um, it did start with these flat nose ones. I got this one before I even moved here to Florida. I got them as a gift for Christmas from my husband. And then, of course, the collection grew and grew, and then they came out with the more, the, more of the extended noses and more characters, like park characters, like this one's from the 50s Primetime Cafe. This one is from your favorite ride, the Twilight Zone, or the Tower of Terror. And It's and, a small world. Yeah, it's a small world. Main Street, Main Street Haunted awesome. Mansion, so. The Haunted Mansion ones are amazing. I know, aren't they cool? So that's the hot, hat box ghost, and then of course, Constance. And am I really looking at a, a Mickey-themed bathroom behind me? You are, it's totally, mickey it out so this is probably the only thing that's just mickey but well it's a little bit of mini but not much <laughs> i love star wars and i see myself a chewbacca <laughs> so this is one of our guest rooms and this is um stuff my husband collects he loves cars but he also loves the disney cars and of course he loves 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 the star wars so we had to incorporate everything in with this room so he this is kind of like his collection does he have a pride piece in here one that's like, oh, this is this for, is the one. Oh, well, he his he loves Boba Fett. So anything Boba, Boba Fett. What are these? This is interesting. This is um, something my husband picked up for me. He's always helping feed that, you know, addiction of mine. It's just uh, the coins with the castle and things. This one right here, though, this is my uh, prize. Of course, it's my first name tag. Now, you're not originally from Orlando. No, I'm from a small town in South Mississippi. So and what brought you here? Disney. And Disney Just. and Disney only. I just needed to be close by so we could play. And then uh, I'm feeling some chills over here. Hot. This is the Haunted Mansion chills. little nook. I love the Haunted Mansion, so I knew it had to have a little special place somewhere in the house. And since we had this little nook, of thought this was perfect, so. And I have books on it, so I've read a lot about it, and I like to um, tell people stories about it and why things are there and things like that, so. I like this guy right here. I've not seen too many of him. He's the hat, hat box ghost. And I got him not too long after we moved here. Are y'all ready for the princess room? Am I ready for the princess room? I am ready. Now, there is a special story behind this princess room, right? It's someone's room when they come to visit you? It is, it's my granddaughter's, well, it's our granddaughter's. And uh, her name is Briley. It did start, well, actually, the very first story of it was, I needed a workroom, because I'm all the time doing projects, painting, making, doing wreaths, you know, the whole nine yards. I realized how much, how many princesses things that I had and I knew that, well, you know, this is probably gonna be a princess room. It'll be a place for when Bridley comes. I love princesses, so I mean, it was just a no brainer. So believe it or not, I picked out the paint and didn't notice the name of it. And when I did, it was called Princess Pink. So I knew I'd picked out the right color for it. <laughs> and I love the little small, the it's a small world collection up here. Oh, I definitely had to have the small world represented I still love the small world. It's a small world, and I, I felt like this was the only place in the house that it really best fit. You know what I mean? I have to say, I picked out my favorite thing in this room. <laughs> I love this aerial piece. Well, that's the dingle hopper holder. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Now tell me a little bit about this, this cabinet you have here. There's a lot of really neat pieces in here. Well, the there's a little bit of everything, like different collections like Jim Shore and things like that, but I tried to 
put every character somewhere in the house. So where are we off to next? Well, let's go to the kitchen. The kitchen uh, sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> and this is one of my favorite things as well, especially in here. I mean, it just shows a lot of characters. It's a lot of color. And like I said, it showcases just Disney. You know what I mean? It's got a little bit of villain. It's got uh, fun characters and attraction characters and you know different things so that's I really love this but uh, these are really cool t these um I don't know if if you notice them in the shop but these are amazing attractions posters that you have they are the replicas but I uh, love them just the same they're representing all the parks but um, well I should say the Magic Kingdom in all the parks so Paris like this one right here Phantom Manor uh, from, that some from Disneyland. I've got some from Tokyo. So I like that. I like that they're all represented. Now this is, um, this should be on like a home and garden magazine. Oh, thank you. It's amazing. Tell us a little bit about the design and where the inspiration came from because this is, this is all your own thing. These and Yeah, well, not everything is always easy to find in exactly what you want. So I seen these bracelets one day and I said, okay, that looks like a napkin ring to me. <laughs> so I bought uh, several to, you know, finish my collection with and stuff. And so I found these the other day. I love these. These are actually scarves, but in my eye, I seen uh, chair sashes, you know, so. I love it. It helps bring that color, that character, and the story you're trying to tell when you're creating a tablescape. And we have the set over the television with um, Mickey, the pirate Mickey, and then um, Indiana Jones, and then there's Bert, and then Steamboat Willie. Now, you mentioned you shared with us your favorite part of your collection, which is something that gets me emotional, too, is, of course, Cinderella's castle. <laughs> yeah, this is my one of my most favorite things. I love it. I know that still, even as many times as we've gone to the park, that when I round that corner and look down Main Street and see that castle, I mean, it still get a little bit misty-eyed. I have been to Africa three times, and so every time that I would come back, I would bring souvenirs back, and they're very dear to me. And so when we moved into the house, we decided that we would incorporate the Disney Animal Kingdom into it because it was most fitting. So as you can see down here at the bottom, you can actually see some hidden Mickeys. And those came from Animal Kingdom. Y'all want to see my 400 hats? Yes, I just want to see 400 hats. I've had someone, you know, I told them, I, well, I had 400, almost 400 hats. I just collected and kept collecting and kept collecting and it just was almost like a, you know, almost like a game, let me see what else you know, new in the hat line have they got, well, I've, you know, got to get that hat. So before I knew it, it was um, up to 400. And so someone came over one day, she said, I want to see the 400 hats. And she thought I was going to have them displayed somewhere, but I'm <laughs> like, I, I don't know where I would put them. But anyway, I've got this big cabinet and it is totally full of hats. <laughs> I am not going to lie, I do not own a single pair of ears or hat. <laughs> I am a terrible person now that I look at your wonderful collection here. I really got to get on this. Or at least I know where to come to borrow a pair if See, I need. There you go. I've got <laughs> any kind you could possibly imagine. Try them on. <laughs> See, that looks natural on you. Uh, completely, I'm sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. These are the, I think these might be the ones that I am going to have to wear next time I go to the park. These ones. Got to hang out with, you know, Anna and Elsa and all the rest of the Vikings. Well, thank you so much for sharing your collection with us, letting us into your home. We love Disney super fans. Thank well, great. It's, I'm glad that y'all came. It was my pleasure. I, I love Disney and I love sharing it. I think you need a couple more hats, though. <laughs> Just a couple more. Oh, I have some on my list, don't worry. <laughs> Send them to me and I'll get them to her, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.